So there's a jack on each corner. Got it. Okay. There's four jacks at each bearing. There's ten bearings. There's forty well, lift jacks. Okay. And then this guy at the back end is a horizontal jack. He's doing the actual pushing. There's one here and there's one on the back end. Okay, here. so we're looking down river here. You're looking you're looking so up river, yeah, up but river, you're looking but, yeah. to the south. Right, yeah, yeah. Sorry. Hmm. So this is what's it's is the it system manually, that's like um, it's all hydraulically controlled. Hydraulically. The guys in the mid pier, pier nineteen is where the, the control point is. Uh, this pad here is a new bearing location, so on top of these steel A-frames mm -hmm. is where the bridge is moving to, and then it'll It'll be resting down on those. Can I ask if this process has ever been done before on a different bridge? The process is, was done with the Soviet Island Bridge. Oh, okay. We built the Soviet Island Arch on a pier. Yeah, I remember going And then down we the river. slid it onto a barge. The same equipment was used, same company. Oh, okay. So that was, but that was only one span. Yeah. So this is. Whole yeah, line. that was 150 feet. This is 1,100 feet. There we go. Oh. Is this the longest? So, this is the longest. It is the longest. So yeah. up on the tracks here, these are those Teflon pads Teflon. that the skids... And this is the Dawn? No, that's just rainwater right now. <laughs> <laughs> but by the Dawn, what the Dawn does is it displaces the water that's up okay. there. Okay, okay. So if we had any freezing problems this morning, we could get rid of them. Oh, sure, sure. Huh. So these are like... Furniture movers, you know those Teflon pads that you can yes. buy in Fred Meyers and move right. furniture all around. <laughs> Same so principle, cool. just a thousand times just a bigger. Lot bigger. <laughs> um, so cool. <laughs> we we the oh contractor God. put these little paint marks on all the tracks, and we have folks up on each pier that are reading these as as the skids oh, go along. Clever. So we're we're tracking the movements of each pier, and that's so that one doesn't get ahead of the other. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. We're not twisting the bridge as we move it. Sure, sure. Hmm. Uh, and then these pins connect to different portions of the track together. And the track is kind of angled because we're swinging in an arc. We're not just right. going a straight shot across. So after its temporary use, it comes down? At the end of the project, it'll be torn down. <laughs> That'll be another thing to watch. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Here's, here's a better shot of the bearing. This is this is what the bridge was sitting on. And from this point upward is what we're lifting. So the, here you can see the jacks over here. They, they pump up, they lift this frame, and that lifts the whole bridge up. And that's a hydraulic. It's all hydraulic system. All these black hoses are It's, a, it's an oil inside of it? Yeah. Okay. And it's doing it... Both up and horizontal at the same time. They're they're two separate systems. So on yesterday we we actually lifted the bridge yesterday using these jacks. Oh, okay. So there's about a two to three inches of space right now there. And then the horizontal jacks is is a separate system, and that's what's pushing the bridge. Gotcha. Okay. So you can see the jacks and the pads under here. And yeah. These are steel beams that kind of act like railroad ties mm -hmm. to support the weight as, as the bridge moves out. Now, do, do the pads just kind of sit free? They're, They're just, just sitting in there. Mm -hmm. In fact, as it moves forward, the pads at the back are being picked up and, and put in empty the slots in the front. How Egyptian. Think about it. Yeah. So I, how I, is it being pulled? It's, it's being pushed by a, a set of jacks. Just like that. So that's a better picture. They reposition the jack. The, the jacks can push four feet. Okay. And then they unlock them from the track, and they reverse the fluid, and they actually pull themselves forward, and then they lock them back in again. So every every four feet of movement, we have to stop and reset the jacks. And how much movement are they doing total when it's done? Uh, Sixty-six feet on that end, and thirty-three feet on this end. How are these? How are these things uh, connected with one another? They got to push all the same time. All these hoses. So it's they're all connected. They're like, all connected together, and the control panels the, in the center. Of the they move. Yeah. The hard part was um, getting them calibrated so that the ones at that end have to push twice as far as the ones at this end. Why is that? At the same time. Because we're swinging the bridge on an arc. We're not just a straight move. 
So they have to cover 66 feet. These have to cover 33 feet. But it all has to happen at the same time. So 